welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars All Stars Result Show. <laughs> okay, so they began the show with the encore performance by Apollo and Karina. Good choice, judges. Len. <laughs> I love their Viennese waltz last night and it was just as awesome tonight. Then Jason Mraz got up on stage. <laughs> He performed, I Won't Give Up. Eh, I really like Jason Mraz, but not live. Um, then everyone on the show was safe, pretty much. Well, not everyone. Sabrina and Louie weren't. Melissa and Tony and Apollo and Karina weren't safe. So they had to sweat it out. Then they had a little video package on how stressful. Oh, it's so hard to be on the show. Really, you have to make a one and a half minute dance every week. Oh, it's just so horrible. And they all had their strategies about, oh, if I just, you know, wipe my slate clean every week. And But it's all about fan base. Let's not kid ourselves, kids. Come on, don't kid a kid. It's not cool. Then, the real dancers came out. The Macy's Stars of Dance. Oh, Macy's must have paid a fortune for this every week. So it was based on the French Revolution, and it was pretty awesome. I have to say so myself. It was pretty awesome. The costumes were pretty amazing, and the dancing was as well. Oh, wow. Let's waste some time. It's time to pick the fusion dances. All right. Now, I have to say I really love this segment last uh, results show when they had to pick the wacky dances, you know, like uh, Lindy Hop and whatever they picked, Charleston, whatever. That was interesting because they were dances that they don't usually do. But to have the celebrities pick fusion dances, I mean, none of these dances were, like, outrageous. I mean, Argentine tango and, you know, Paso Doble, whatever. Come on, it's really not that outrageous. They just had to put in some filler. So these are the choices. Kirsty and Max <laughs> chose Tango Cha Cha for Melissa and Tony. Big deal. <laughs> Kelly and Val chose Argentine Tango Samba for Gilles and Pita. Emmett and Cheryl Tango Foxtrot for Sabrina and Louie. Uh, Apollo and Karina chose the Quick Step and the Samba for Kirsty and Max. Big deal. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Melissa and Tony chose Tango Paso Doble for Sean and Derek, and they were so scared that they hugged each other. They weren't scared. It's not a big deal. Sean and Derek chose Rumba Samba for Emmett and Cheryl. Sabrina and Louie chose Cha Cha Foxtrot for Kelly and Val. And finally, Gilles and Pita chose Cha Cha Paso Doble for Apollo and Karina. It's just like so a non-event. Eh. Alright, then they trotted out Taylor Swift. I usually like Taylor Swift, but I don't know. She's coming off as kind of a stalker lately. <laughs> and she sang, We are never ever getting back together. Ugh. Another creepy breakup song. <sighs> Cause it's late and your mama don't know. All right, come on, next. Sabrina and Louie are eliminated. Oh no, what happened? Can you believe it? When she was picked as the fan favorite to come back on the show, I thought, well, she's got a little bit of fan base left in her, you know, because they chose her over Carson Kressley, my most favorite gay in the world. So, well, actually, I don't know. It's a toss-up between him and Tim Gunn, I think. Maybe Tim Gunn's better. I don't know, but I love my gays. But anyhow, um, Sabrina and Louie. Ugh. Oh, I think the judges are probably thinking maybe we shouldn't have given Kirsty and Max such high scores this week. What do you think? Is Kirsty and Max going to be the next uh, Bristol Palin and uh, Mark? I don't know. I mean, why is it so crappy when somebody like Bristol Palin 
gets to stay on the show because they have a fan base, but not Kirstie Alley. Are you guys ready to see Kirstie Alley go, or what? Let me know in the comments. And until Fusion Dances next week, much love.